Okay, um, getting out to uh, try and get to that stand I wasn't able to get to uh, last week uh, where I saw the bucks in the, in the field. Um, so I'm actually going to enter from a different location, which is where I actually enter this, uh, this set uh, uh, when I'm actually hunting, when I come in in the morning. So um, let's get in there, make sure I have some shooting lanes, get everything set up, and then I won't go in again until it's ready to, ready to hunt those, those bucks. So uh, stay tuned. Okay, so what I usually do is I park at the end of my buddy's driveway. His house is about 200 yards up that way. Across the road here. And what I do is I go under this fence with the cow pasture. And I don't see my cow, my buddy the cows are, are way up there. Can't see them. But I cross right under here. And then I go and cross on the other side. Oh, there my friends are. And the bob wire does a number on your pants. All right, here we are in the uh, corner river stand. My original river stand is about 200 yards up through the woods here. As I said before, this is kind of a pinch point. And this is pretty much the corner of the pinch point. So, we're okay. so this is where my location is. Um, Right out there is the soy field. It's the opposite end of where we saw those bucks last week. And so they come down this patch of woods. This is like a funnel. You got the river right over here. And you got the field edge right there. And it's a little funnel through here, especially during the rut. So I'm gonna climb the, this is the tree I'm gonna be in. I'm gonna climb up it and make sure I uh, have some decent shooting lanes cleared. Woods. Then you have the river right there. The river curves around. And you have the soy field over there. This is the corner of the soy field. All right, so typically what they do in the morning, the does definitely come through here with the bucks, um, especially in the rut chasing them but the bills will come right through here in the morning. And the bucks could come either from down this direction here or across the river, maybe up the side of the soy. So uh, I will hunt the stand when I, uh, as soon as I take care of that doe here in New Jersey. And this one is a preset tree. So there you have my sticks I use to climb I carry those in and then put this platform up for my feet and then I'm in my saddle so let me show you how that works all right so here's my saddle as you can see Oops. So basically I'm sitting in this it's connected to a bridge which is this thing here which is connected to a carabiner which is connected to tether on the tree okay and that goes around and then what I have down here is my lion's rope which I use to climb which I usually take off when I'm hunting and uh, basically I can just I don't know if you can see but I can just sit in the saddle and this is so comfortable I can hang out here all day long sit stand you know, put my knees to the side and sit but the beauty of this thing is I got 360 degrees of shot whereas a regular tree stand I do not right about 270 so I can swing all the way around to this side or I can swing around to the other side so, 
All right, a couple more things to, to trim, and then we'll get out of here. Okay, there are my friends. Let's see if I can get across this cow pasture without them seeing me. Okay, so I got that set up. Pull a card. Got a camera I set up a couple of weeks ago. And I'm out here. And that's it. Okay, I'm on my way to another location. I'm gonna pull a card off the trail cam and uh, it for the day.